All right, let's listen to this together. Not smart enough to know this. Not smart enough. Most men are not smart enough to know this. Not smart enough to know what? Let us hear it. The higher you elevate your woman, the less available she is to other men. So if we elevate her, spend our money on her, she'll become less accessible to other men. I see. If you treat her less, you will make her accessible to anyone she thinks will treat her right. So if we treat her less, we will make her more accessible to the people who can treat her better. Hmm. You're wrong. Women are by nature hypergamous. Huh, not the hypergamy again. A woman is with a man and she's <sighs> always looking for a man who is better than that man, a man who is more successful, who is richer, a man who can take better care of her. So no matter how much you take care of that woman, she will keep looking out. You think so they why? who can treat her <laughs> better than you. It, it is hypergamy. Some women are so greedy. Their greed gives them no peace. No matter how much you spend on them, you, you will discover that they are unfaithful, ungrateful, disloyal, and treacherous bastards. You know what? They will take your money and still go out and look for a man who is richer than you while you're sacrificing and working hard to take care of this treacherous bastard. She's out there, behind your back, flirting with other men, taking other men's numbers, and looking for a better life for herself. It is hypergamy. Self-preservation and survival is more important to a woman than love. Self-preservation is more important to her than love. She doesn't care about love. What she cares about is her survival and her self-preservation. So it doesn't matter what a man does. If a woman is not contented with, with what she has, she will always look out. And that is the reason why I say that don't date a broke woman. Date a woman who has her own money. So she's not with you for money. She already has her own money. She's content. She's satisfied with her life. She doesn't need your money. She's happy with herself. So she's with you for love. But if you're spending money on a woman and thinking your money will cause her to be loyal to you, you're a fool. You're a very big <laughs> fool. She will spend your money and still remain an unfaithful, disloyal, ungrateful, and treacherous bastard and betray you. He like begging led you. Jesus is Lord. Kill Agbe, kill a Jew. Oh my God. How did we get here? Let me let me analyze it word for word. Most men are not smart enough to know this. Not smart enough to know what? Most men are not smart enough to know what? Now, please take a note that there's a young lady down there. Matter of fact, let me check my own audio. Uh, hold on one second. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that before I continue. Uh, all right, good. We're good to go. Just want to make sure I check my own audio since it's quite quiet in the chat. All right. Most men are not, no, I want you to take note that there's a young lady there. She's nodding her head. She's agreeing with that man. Okay. So people that are focused on gender war are, they, and I'm talking the, the worst ones are the ones that are doing it from a subconscious place. Okay, so you don't have to admit that you're focused on gender war. You just have to be focused on gender war, even if you don't know it. Okay, um, people that are focused on gender war are the worst. You know, they're the worst. They're their own worst enemy because oftentimes they can't see it. Okay, but let's keep going. You'll see what I mean in a second. Let us hear it. Let's have it. Let's have the it. The higher you elevate your woman, the less available she is to other men. So if we elevate her, spend our money on her. Okay, so she never said that. Again, I'm, I'm going by the clip here. So, uh, uh, you know, if I take them out of context, so be it. But if, if she never said that. How? Anyway, let me, let me trace back. To your woman, 
the less available she is to other men so the le- if you elevate her the less available she is to other men if i have to generalize what she said i have to agree with her right if i don't generalize what she said if i start to drill down into what she said and create meanings out of it it's personal then i have to tell you the rest of the story but let's hear what baba has to say let's continue if we elevate her spend our money on her she'll become less accessible to other men i see if you treat her less if you treat you her make less her accessible to anyone she thinks will treat her right so if we treat her so so let, let me use this example let me drill down a little bit example that is very common japa situation so you want to leave your wife in nigeria leave her in nigeria you just stay in yankee because somebody said please do not bring bring a village girl to the overseas even though you deem your fit enough to marry the village girl but somebody advised you on the internet said do not bring a village girl to the overseas right in fact you didn't watch the video you just saw the title and you're like hmm that makes sense right so you left her down there right so if i have to generalize it let's 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 stay in that zone leave her in nigeria so again if i'm generalizing and i use that example it still fits she's making sense so so far but wait for baba baba is going to give you some extra means unless we will make her more accessible to the people who can treat her better she's wrong right you're wrong okay okay women no baba is about to tell us what she's wrong about right so if you say somebody is wrong immediately i think you're right i i i i I, you're right so far but i want to hear more let's get into it let's hear the rest of the story baba are by nature hypergamous that means a woman is with a man and she's always looking for a man who is better than that man, a man who is more successful, who is richer, a man who can take better care of her. So no matter how much you take care of that woman. Wait, 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 wait. A woman is always looking for a man who is better, richer, all this kind of stuff. I'm not sure. Where is, so far, there's no connection between that and what she said, which is elevate your woman. You can, let's even use straight up logic like they always try to claim right let's use straight up logic i can elevate you and i don't have to elevate you to my level (laughs) right that problem should be solved instantly right i can elevate you and i don't have to elevate you to my level but baba is already making an assumption that if i elevate you i'll be elevating you above me right baba is already making that assumption but let's see if he finishes it properly she will keep looking out for a man who can treat her better than you. It, it is hypergamy. That is not hypergamy. Oh, that is so not hypergamy. The fact that she will keep looking for a man sounds like she will just keep looking for women everywhere. Now, a woman do, does want to look up to her husband she naturally is not going to she is naturally not going to respect you if she can't respect you and it gets worse if you ask for respect right that's all part of apagami but to make apagami just about monetary you're wrong now money is part of life of course money is the way we exchange value but if you just get stuck on money this is where you go wrong and you will need to tell me the rest of the story some women are so greedy they are greed gives them no peace no matter how much you spend on them you you will discover that they he said something that's correct some women some women but let's keep going um, unfaithful ungrateful disloyal and treacherous bastards ha! they will take your money and- what why is it why is it all she said is elevate your woman what am i missing i still go out and look for a man who is richer than you while you're sacrificing and working hard to take care of this stretch. That's your fault, gentlemen. If you marry a woman, if you're so blind, you marry a woman, there's some women that who is always, always looking, that is your fault. 
no, I'm not going to keep letting you get away with thinking you can blame other people for your calamities. It gets worse for you if I let you get away with that. It's lack of self-accountability in all of this so far. Itcherous bastard. She's out there. Behind your back. Flirting with other men. If you get with a woman that's flirting with other women, this is... It's your fault. It's even worse when you stay with a woman that's flirting with other men. You shall I get tired? Taking other men's numbers and looking for a better life for herself. It is hypothetical. are there women like that? Yes, some women. That is that has nothing to do with apagami. Apagami cross cut cross across the board when it comes to our social constructs. Yes, your woman want to look up to you. What does that has to do with? What does that have to do with what you're talking about right now? Nothing. Zero. You're only trying to connect it because. There is more to your personal story, and you need to tell us that story. To me, self-preservation and survival—that's a human thing. To a woman than love. That's a human thing. You might interpret it differently from a man to a woman, but that's a human thing. Self-preservation. As a matter of fact, I'm preaching to you, gentlemen. Preserve yourself. You can. You have nothing to offer a woman if you don't take care of yourself, which is why you are resenting them so badly, and you have to make this type of talking points. Take care of yourself, so you can have something to offer, and stop asking for her to measure at your level because that's what this is. This is competing with a woman. If you need to compete with a woman, you can also become a queen. There is technology for that these days, and I'm not shaming you, and I mean that because it's confusion. You're confusing yourself. Self-preservation is more important to her than love. She doesn't care about love. What she cares about is her survival and her self-preservation. So it doesn't matter what a man does. If a woman is not contented with, with what she has, she will always look out. It doesn't matter what a man does. It's false. There's so much more. You can leave. You can leave. You can micro-leave. You can macro-leave. You can disengage from engaging a certain type of woman. You can also work on yourself so it's sustainable because if you keep attracting toxic, that's you. That's all you. You attract who you are. And that is the reason why I say that don't date a broke woman. Date a woman who has her own money. He said he made it about money. So when women start to say, you have your own money, I'm not surprised because you have men saying it's about money. This thing is it's never been about money. It's about value. The reason why you're confused is because you confuse money with value. And for as long as you continue to confuse money with value, you will struggle, not just in romantic relationships, in life, period. So she's not with you for money. She already has her own money. She's content. She's satisfied with her life. She doesn't need your money. She's happy with... How many women are out here that have their own money and they're still not content with you as a man? And then what do you do? You turn around it's because she has her own money. She's, she's, she's not feeling pompous because she has a good job. How many stories like that do we know? Herself. So she's with you for love. But if you're spending money on a woman and thinking your money will cause her to be loyal to you, you're a fool. If you're spending, uh, he's right about that to understand. If you're spending money on a woman just and you think that's all you need to bring to the table, yes, you are. I won't call you a fool. You're ignorant. And I think that's what he's talking about. He's confusing way too many things together. He's confusing money with value. And that's problematic. Elevate, never elevate your woman. How can that freaking make sense to any human, any normal human being? The only reason is because you don't collect shaggy banza from a woman. And you need to heal. If you don't heal, you go still collect. You're a very big fool. She will spend your money and still remain an unfaithful, disloyal, ungrateful, and treacherous bastard and betray you with another man. Yeah, this Baba is speaking from a very personal audio. It's very, very personal to him. That's my conclusion on that. Welcome, Chidima. Good to see you, Chidima. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you. She said, Uncle Apagame, read meanings into elevate your woman. Jump to conclusion and generalize. Uncle, we'll hurt you. Anyway, do me a favor. Let me know what your thoughts are. Join the conversation in the chat. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, turn up your notifications so you're notified when we go live.
I've got more. We've got more to cover. We have more base to cover. So let's keep moving. But never elevate your woman. Please explain that to me. How that makes any sense to any human being. Please break it down. I don't know how that can ever, ever be uh, any kind of uh, good advice. I'm not sure, you know. But uh, yes, let's let's move on right up. I'll be right back. Hey, Prestige fam, show some love to the video. Hit, like, subscribe, and share. Are you in Europe, America, and struggling your relationship? From argument to abuse and trust issues, we're here to help. Lola and I founded uh, Prestige Marriage Academy to transform your story. With 20 years of friendship, 17 years of marriage, experience with navigating the ups and downs of marriage, and personalized coaching, includes 24 7 support ignorance is expensive whatsapp us at plus one seven three two three oh five eight five seven seven to book a free discovery session today and take charge now don't wing it join us in creating the love life you, you deserve, deserve.